think this is good enough. Certainly feels like this is more of a do nothing deck. I think I lead on the crypt. Not a hundred percent there. I think there's sequences of draws where I don't play the steam vents until significantly later. Cool, we're now in position on remand, which is pretty nice. Playing first is really huge if these blue mirrors are a thing. Probably a thought scour out of my opponent, or possibly just a tap line. I think I just do this. I. The second remand is what really pushes that in my mind. I think I lead on the delta here. Still not 100% on what my opponent's trying to do, but this gives me the flexibility of electrolyzing if that's where I want to go. So I found some kind of, could just be normal twin, but could also be, not 100% sure if that Steam Vance fetch is right, because I do want to leave a duel in my deck so I can do things. I guess they're twin based on this. Vendillion click. That seems fine. I could use the remand, but I'm not going to get significantly better positioned against that click there. Like, just getting that. I think that four is not really a critical number for my opponent resolving anything um, from an empty board. It's not like, you know, or Legacy. Five, I'd be a little more concerned that there's a Karanos on the way or something. But four, yeah. Opponent's best bet is to take a Cryptic Command here, most likely. Yeah, I did kind of notice this sideboard didn't have a lot of... Interesting, they took Lightning Bolt. Um, the sideboard for the deck didn't have a lot of... I guess, like, there's Gurmag Angler, but I don't know how good of, like, a, a big swingy wing condition like Batter Skull that is. I'd probably swap that slot out. I'm also not 100% on the burn, conf the, this matchup, or this configuration's matchup against the burn deck. Not even going to bluff anything, just F6, save the clock time. No, I don't have Disrupting Shoal. My opponent got slightly ahead on that exchange, but if I had just let the click resolve, I'm in like an even worse position on that front. Um... Tech Edge is mildly annoying. Now, rug control of some kind. Cool. I have to think about how I'm going to position here. I 
trying to figure out if I'm supposed to use this pester mite to f fight over the snapcaster. I think I want to save the terminate for a goif. Um... Yeah, I think I just want to trade this pester mite here. Leaving up mana such that my opponent can't take me off of reman with this tech edge. Then I pester mite the green source here. I just like don't think my hand is very well suited to just taking a bunch of snapcaster damage here. Just like being out of position with cryptic command in hand is so much worse than being in position. Oh, rug twin. Yeah, I'm just going to use a remand here. The rug twin deck has kind of like died out, um, at least in my mind in this format. I think that Tassiger not dying to Erupt Decay while Tarmogoyf does has been like the big turning point for that. Um,. This is a mirror. I may just want to keep. Oh, yep. Yeah, we're disregarded anything previously. No, I do not want to. Um, yeah, Colgon's command is exactly what I want here. Yeah, that's fine. That was. Oh, wow. I fetched horribly like two turns ago. I just, like, didn't even think about that. So, my opponent has... I, like, knew... Like, I had not thought about it at the time, but I knew I wanted to do the other thing. Um... I think it's Visions? I'm not too afraid of this Spell Snare. And by the other thing, I mean fetching a black source. Probably going to use this as rebuy plus kill the Snapcaster. Or the Grim Lava Mancer. I have enough mana that leaving up something specific doesn't matter too much. I know my opponent's entire hand. There's a Pester Might, a Snapcaster. Which gets back Bolt. So Snap Bolt is a thing I'm going to have to burn out of my opponent's hand before I expose this Pester Might. Opponent's actual correct play here is Pester Might on tap Tech Edge. Tech Edge my Black Source, I think. But I 
Actually, I'm just trying to think about this. I'm actually reaching the point where I can pester my it with cryptic up. Well, opponent drew and discard the same card. Then drew another one of it. My opponent's kind of let me get away with a little too much here, I think. Um, I think I just want to use a cryptic to use a cryptic. Like, I just have so much mana. Or, not so much. I just have a limited amount of mana, and only so many things to do with it. Um... I also like doing this because it forces my opponent's action of the other Snapcaster and leaves me in a good position to... I guess I knew about the Spell Snare. My bad. That was a mistake. I was supposed to wait so I could remand it and blank the Spell Snare. I didn't think about that as a uh, re-up on the interaction. I guess I do have enough because my opponent's interaction is a Snapcaster. Um, that means that my remand is enough to stop the bolt. So I should be able to combo in two if I feel like going for it. Based on my board state, if I draw another Snapcaster, if I draw a Snapcaster at all, that's fine. So now my opponent has Roast and a card. It's a very good draw. There are Roast and a Snapcaster Mage is the card, but... I think I'm supposed to not tap like a moron. Um, fire this on upkeep, tapping the pester might. Because I think running into a counter spell is like the worst possible thing for me here. Yeah, that terminate play is not looking so hot. Yeah, I have to take this hit. I think I'm now committed to just twinning next turn, which isn't the worst, but... My opponent knows I have a cryptic in hand. That's it. Yeah, I'm trying to think. The only thing I could draw that would change my line here is Snapcaster. Because I would then go for Snap Electrolyze on my opponent's draw step. Um, and like try to get into a better... Eh, I wouldn't. Yeah, and the reason I was pointing out my tapping is because if I tap both islands, I wouldn't be able to leave up double or triple blue through the tech edge. Well, that about settles what I'm going to do this turn. Eh, 
That was a good draw. Going to let that resolve so that I can uh, remand as a hard counter on the bolt. Because of the old remand uh, snapcaster interaction. The flashback spell is uh, being cast from the graveyard, and if we go anywhere else, it goes to the exile zone. I think I'm supposed to target the original bolt. I don't know how much it matters. Like my opponent had the recounter. Or another bolt, my card's just dead. I have not done this on V4, so I'm just going to pause for a minute. Oh, nope, we're good. Opponent well, didn't uh, didn't make me go through the jumps or hoops. That one. So Tassiger seems like the all-time best in the mirror. Uh, Dispel seems great. Slaughter Pack seems great. Negate seems fine. Do I want more than one? I'm not sure. Lightning Bolt seems... Terminate... I like Electrolyze. Hologon's commands okay. I'm not the biggest Reman fan. Cut two. Probably cut like a cryptic. Eh, that might be too. I don't know how good that card is. Cut a Pestermite. Cut a Twin. Cut a Cobble Bolt. I don't think there's that many creatures in that color combination that are really doing it for my opponent. Uh, not a big... Rending Volley is better than Lightning Bolt, most likely. Um, cutting the Cryptic, because it's like the clunky card. I think I want another Kologon's Command for value. I think I want this other Negate. Um, I have three ways to kill a Charmogoyf, which is probably okay. This Murderous Cup might want to come in. Though I am skeptical of it with all of these Tassigers. Uh I think I still want a couple remands just to do the reman thing. Maybe I just want to cut another Exarch. Move away from the twin combo. I see the mirror getting pretty bashy. That's probably overloading on an effect that's not very exceptional. Well, I do have to go fast, so I'm just going to guess that the last card should be this Murderer's Cut. Ten looks fine. I'm going to use this one to fetch a blue-black. The life in this matchup kind of matters. Well, um... This is definitely fetching a blue-black. Not really going to do anything about that Lava Man. Uh, I think I'm supposed to Sulfur Falls, Visions. I want the... Eh. Which ones of these do I want? Don't actually mind Murderous Cut, but it's not exceptional. 
I don't think I need it. I think I definitely want the twin. Yeah, I definitely want the twin. I don't think I want negate. I definitely want dispel though. I think this is just me setting up for a very aggressive uh, twin. This is like a soft line to V-click. Well, while well, my opponent is tapped out, uh, this doesn't do what I want it to, does it? Um, I think it does enough of it, though. That was a mistake. I, I What was I doing? I was like, oh, my opponent can redirect, yeah, whatever. I forgot I could just go target player discards a card. Ooh, that's... Yeah, I was supposed to make my opponent discard a card and kill the spell skite um, instead of doing what I just did. I said I am glad that this running volley is not a uh, lightning bolt. So... I'm going to pass, try to bait my opponent into attacking with the Lava Mancer. I'm willing to fight over this with this spell here. Um, because it does mean I get to untap my land Rending Volley the 2 1 and block the 1 1. My opponent's also fairly low on resources. I think this hunted very well. I think my opponent was not supposed to attack into this <laughs> very blatant Deceiver X arc. Okay. Spell's Guide is not blue or white. Good try, though. You do have to keep Moto on its toes, because you never know. Um, I think I'm just going to wait on my action here, because I would like to use this Scalding Tarn to get Blood Crypt. Uh, I do want to put this X arc into play, though. Doesn't really matter. Uh, that was a mistake. I was supposed to tap the spell skite. I missed a damage. In exchange for being super safe and fetching this blood crypt. In case I want to prevent my opponent from putting an Exarch into play when I'm leaving up Remand regardless. I don't think there's a real reason to play that land, but probably should have. Yeah, just going to fire off the remand at whatever this is for value. Because who cares about 2-1? Do you have a creature in graveyard? I do not. Man, I'm pretty far off of full value. I guess Colgon's command is discard kill spell skite would still be great here. Ooh. 
Spicy. Yeah, actually, that's why I was supposed to play the land, because if I remanded and it resolved, um, I'd be able to draw land plus Kologon's command to destroy Spellskite and cast Splinter Twin. I can currently draw one of my two Terminates and do that, though. That was not a Terminate. Where did those cards end up? Bottom top? Yeah. It's probably something silly like Vidalcan Shackles or Batter Skull. Doesn't bother me too much. Does mean I have a definite time frame to win this game in. But I think it's doable. Also, that card looks real bad against Tassiger. Though I guess my opponent can move it to a Snapcaster Mage. Um, so I guess saving the Bolt matters here. Because I could, in theory, Bolt, Snap, Bolt, kill spells. I guess I'd rather snap anything else. Yeah, no need to trade off something this turn. Just get another land out of the deck. I don't think going to 10 versus 11 matters because it's still... Uh, the, the math just still works out such that, uh, you know, an opponent's going to deal 8 and 2 attacks with this germ token and then plus 3 from a bolt is lethal. And, like, that's 11. So the difference between 11 and 10 is like a bolt versus an electrolyze and two attacks, which is not huge. Yeah, maybe I'm just supposed to have all the Kologon's commands in the mirror. Just like random garbage like Vidalcan Shackles or Batter Skull just to get it out of there. Well, I don't think I have a better window. My opponent just cast Serum Visions. Okay. I think I throw I think I'm supposed to throw Exarch under the bus and then bolt the batter skull. Does that buy me much time? I don't think it does because my opponent then just moves to the Snapcaster. That certainly doesn't buy me any time. So I'm just waiting. So I can fire off, uh, hold on a second, duress, I, okay, I have, I have enough, um, if I, oh, no, I'm one short, shoot, for some reason I was counting Snapcaster Terminate as only costing, um, three mana, so if I draw a Snapcaster next turn, I have to, like, give my opponent another turn, which is really awkward. It's fine. I think I have to fire off this duress here to ensure that this uh, tap on the Exarch actually gets me somewhere. I'm probably getting bolted in response, though. So I see. Remand, twin, snap. Well, I'm taking cryptic. That much is a given. I 
think I'm supposed to start this fight on my opponent's upkeep. Though it is kind of awkward that my opponent just has enough mana to snap cryptic this. If they do, I'm just dead. So I have to throw my Exarch away. See, this is fine. The remand was exactly the play I was hoping my opponent would make. Oh, no, it isn't, because I just get snap remanded and die. Okay, never mind. Got excited for a second. That's a much safer play on my opponent's part. That's fine. Dead. Did not have anything. Electrolyze into... Island does not keep me alive. I'm actually just dead to the spell sky there. So let's just take this card out of my deck. Completely. And I want this card in my deck for sure. Murderous cuts. Okay. It's not the best. I do have three Taskers, so I'm kind of concerned about my Delve count. I don't want that many Cryptics because of my opponent's multiple Dispels. This looks okay. Nope. Uh, still no. Ugh. Is this even better than a four? I think it's very marginally better than a four. That's two votes in favor of a 23rd land, by the way. Just like casting spells is great, by the way. Whoever built this deck. Colgon's command is okay. Um, realistically, it's quite clunky, but again, there have been times where the card, like actual just blighting, has been good enough in this format. So, No attacks? Man. How lucky for me. Probably getting Exarched in some variety. Let me remand anything, please. Yes. Don't care. I would like to draw a card. That's a land. Is there a twin? No? Okay. That's great. I'm still in this game, technically. Though if this is... Oh. There's no five drop either here? Man. Yeah, sure. You no, know, there's an electrolyze waiting. Good. Uh, 
This game is actually really interesting for uh, Krabby Moldify. I think if I draw a Black Source, I'm legitimately in it. Tasker is going to do a lot of work if I can get to that point. As is Colagon's making you discard a card. Top, top, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> that's, that's bad for me. Probably getting electrolyzed. Oh, sure, a third Exarch? That works. I think I'm supposed to be getting of combat try to tap a creature or just right click concede game not quite 